What's going on guys? Welcome back to another audio assemble tutorial. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to make and use groups in Pro Tools. Now there are two easy ways to make a group in Pro Tools. Uh, the first way we are going to look at is if you press track up here in the menu and then all you have to do is go to down to group, press group and you've got your group right there. So you can name it here. We'll do uh, electric and we will add electric one left and electric one right. And then you just click add here. Now, if you want to remove them, you do the same method, select them and then remove. You can do them one at a time, two at a time, whatever you'd like. But for right now, we will have those two in there together. Now, the other method is uh, if you press control G, that pulls up this shortcut. It's control G on Windows, command G on Mac. The way I like to make my groups is I select which channels I actually want in it to begin with. So let's go with lead left and lead right and we'll hit control G and those are already selected to be in the group. I really like that. It's a quick way to just kind of throw it in there and it's ready to go. Now you can uh, go into these two other windows beyond tracks. So there are attributes and globals. Globals are essentially setting the controls for every single group that you will make, every single group that has already been made. Attributes have to do with settings specifically for the group you're working on now. So let's name this one lead guitar. So if I made any changes in attributes, it would only be for lead guitar. Now you see it's all grayed out. The reason for that being I have follow globals selected. If I deselect follow globals, you'll see all of this open up. Follow globals just has to do with telling all of the attributes for every group I make to follow the global selection. So my basic global selections are I just like the volume and mute uh, to follow each other and also the record enable, solos, input monitoring, and automation mode to all follow the same controls essentially. And there are also three types of groups. There's the edit group, mix group, and mix and edit group. So the edit group just has to do with anything on the edit window. Mix has to do with any changes on the mix window. Mix and edit is what I go with because I just like to group my tracks so that I can work on them in both windows without having to worry about turning anything on or off. So we're going to turn follow globals back on just because that's how I normally have it anyway. We'll click OK. Now we went over how to add and remove tracks earlier, but say you want to add more tracks in after you have already created the group and, and closed out of the group's window. All you have to do is in the bottom left corner of the mix window and the edit window, you see the groups section. So to modify one, you right click click modify and it pulls up the group that you right clicked on and now I can add and remove any tracks I want to. There are also two easy ways to turn groups on and off. So you go back down to this groups window in the bottom left again and you see how each one of these is highlighted. So say I wanted to turn off the controls for electric because I wanted to worry about the levels of just one of the tracks. I can click on it right there and you see it unhighlights it. And now I can move this about freely. Just for reference also, if the group is on, it moves both of them together with the selection I have made for the, uh, for the attributes. And you see also that there's this little A next to electric and a little B next to lead guitar. That actually has to do with a hotkey that you can click to turn on or off your groups. So if I wanted to turn off lead guitars group, that's this one right here, uh, I would just press B. So I'm going to hit that and you see it turns it off. It turned off the group selection there and I'm going to turn it back on and all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Tell us about anything that you'd like to see in the future and make sure you subscribe. We've got plenty more content on the way. Check out the description down below. We've got a lot of links to deals and discounts on different plugin types, as well as some articles regarding Pro Tools. And make sure, as always, to check out audioassemble.com for the latest reviews and comparisons.